And we move on to the women's 400 metres freestyle S10. There's a the start list. The fastest eight qualifiers from this morning. And here come the finalists right now. Relay going lane number one for France. Relay qualified in four, 57.85, to 16 years of age from France. Toblonska goes in lane two for Poland. Just 15 years of age, 4.51.67 to qualify. Paulik goes in three, also for Poland, for 43-45, she's 23 years of age. Fastest qualifier, Susan Beth Scott, goes in lane four for the USA, for 40.00, she's 20 years old. Norandi goes in lane five for France, 4.42.86, 23 years of age. Rivard goes in lane number six for Canada. The 16-year-old posted a qualification time of 4.45.06 this morning. Another teenager here in the name of Catherine Downey, 16 years of age from Australia. 4.57.28. Sapiro, the eighth fastest qualifier for South Africa, goes in lane eight, posting 4.59.54. 21 years of age. Well, there's the world record. And the world record holder goes in lane number three, right next to that lady there. Susan Beth Scott of the USA. <laughs> Ella De Lorandi did look good this morning. More than good in lane number five. All set for eight lengths of the pool. Well, they're just asked to relax there for some strange reason. Take your mark. Well, they were held for a long time there, the second attempt. But going well, lane number six was Rivard of Canada. Rivard, the fastest off the blocks in 0.77. Second was Lorandi in 0.78. Scott now into the lead. Ella De Lorandi one lane down in the yellow lane. Closer to us in lane five, looking very good. Scott, Lorandi, Downey, that's a one, two, three. One length down and seven to go. Scott has a much sharper, racier type stroke, a higher stroke rate compared to Lorandi. Lorandi just breathing to her right-hand side and just swimming off Scott. Scott breathing with a bilateral technique. Every third stroke she takes a breath. One to the right there, and then one to the left. Head down for the three strokes into the turn. We can see the skills of Lorandi there. Lorandi staying down underwater, reducing the number of strokes she takes, which means she's saving energy. And stroking slower means she's saving energy as well. There she is, Elodie Lorandi of France, looking very smooth. Scott still strong though. Susan Beth Scott of the USA. They are absolutely neck and neck. But Lorandi does look very, very easy. 140.65. Well, they're well clear of the rest of the field. 
Rivard is third for Canada. Fourth is Jablonska for Poland. Scott maintaining the stroke rate, maintaining the, river, the rhythm. Just has a two-beat leg kick there. So if she has a lot left in the legs throughout the second half of the swim, she could pull away. Very much depending on how Lorandi may increase her stroke rate. Scott, Lorandi, Rivard. And now for the first time, Elodie Lorandi takes the lead. This is the third 100 where the race starts to race. And these competitive swimmers turn up the gears. The lungs at this stage will start to really burn. The fire in the muscles will start to burn. And Elodie Lorandi pulls away by almost half a body length there in the 10 metres leading into the turn. 250.82, Elodie Lorandi first for France. Scott is second for the USA. Rivard still in third for Canada. Lorandi in five holding the distance that she made into and off that turn. Scott trying to stay with her. This is the end of the third 100. Lorandi now stretching that lead to a full body length. Dolphin kick takes a breath at five metres. And she's away. Look at the leg kick. The increased speed and power of that leg kick. A six-beat leg kick for Elodie Lorandi. For every arm stroke that she takes, every complete stroke cycle, one right arm, one left arm, those legs are beating away six times. Six kicks to every full stroke cycle as she accelerates away. Scott is fading and Scott is being caught by Rivard. Look at the swim by Rivard in lane number six from Canada. Just 16 years of age. Lorandi, Scott, Rivard. It's a real chase for the silver and bronze. The gold medal's going to go to Elodie Lorandi of France. The Paralympic record for 33.15 is also the world record. And we're going to be very close and perhaps inside there's 15 minutes to go now and 10 seconds to get that new world record. I think she's going to be just outside. Rivard into second now. Scott falls back to bronze, but the gold medal goes to Elodie Lorandi. 4.34.55, just outside the world and Paralympic record. She swam a perfect race. With great skills and great technique. The 23-year-old French lady punching the air there with delight and pointing to her coaches and family friends, I'm sure, going, yes, I am the number one. Rivard there, 16 years of age for Canada. And the bronze medalist there, Scott, from the USA. What a swimmer. Lovely and high on the water surface. Everything nice and high. Dead centre of the lane. Swam 400 metres, not 401. Whoa, she says. She can't even believe she swam that fast and that close to the world record. So there are the officials.